Welcome to Lyra. Figured it was about time I did a new video. So much has changed since the original Lyra. This is the main screen. You selecting in from the top you'll have the tools menu which is the same as the original Lyra. Selecting the bottom image will take you into car view which will show you specific information on vehicles. Um, you don't have access to the bottom unless you have Lara Plus. There are also certain features in the tools section that you require Lara Plus for as well. We'll go into the tools. Straight away you can see the list of tools. At the moment I'm on Determinator. Let's change it to, to Lishi. Okay, so now there's my list of Lishi tools. You can scroll through the menu you can see what's there, there's quite a few, I'm pretty sure I've got them all. Now you'll notice there's a lot of different colours. The red ones are tools that I have, the blue ones are tools that I wish I had, and the black ones are tools I don't have. Okay, so you select the tool that you're going to use on a particular vehicle, we'll choose CY24, and we're presented with the decoding screen, or the, the notepad if you like. So you go through with your Lishi tool and you pick your lock. Now if you're having any trouble picking your lock, you can always check for any hints. Some tools require lots of pressure or very little pressure or particularly picking in a particular order may also help. So it's worth checking the hints and tips. Um, one that always catches me out is that you some of them you actually decode in the opposite direction to what you pick. So it's handy to know that. Anyway, you've picked your lock, you've started entering your codes because you're decoding your lock. You can verify whether the bitting you have decoded is correct or not. Lara has an online database. Now you can select menu, or of course you can always draw, drag in from the left hand side to bring up the menu for those phones that don't have a menu button. Choose Lara codes and it'll check the database and it'll tell you if what you've decoded so far actually exists. So there's 26 results have been returned for the bidding that we've entered so far. Now you can keep on entering biddings which of course will reduce that list. If you don't know what a particular bidding is you can enter half cuts. So if I enter by long tapping the 2 I'll get 2.5 so this means in that particular position, Lara will now search for either a 2 or a 3 cut. So we can go menu, Lara codes, it will refresh the list, we now have 18 results. And you can see in that position there's a 2 or a 3. Had we have just made it a 3, menu, Lara codes, Alright, so we're now down to 10 results. And before long you can whittle it down to something that's you know, quite reasonable and you don't have too many keys to go away and cut. Hopefully you're able to read locks and you're able to read the first wafer in the ignition in many cases and that will you know, really eliminate what your possibilities are for you. So there you go, there's only actually one possible result. As well as giving you the bitting, Lara will give you the actual code so you can record that code, keep it in your records, hand it on to your customer, do whatever it is you want to do with it. Um, we have the assist button here. Lara will blank out any chambers that don't have any wafers in them for you. Sometimes there are exceptions to the rule. If that's the case, just turn assist off and you'll now have access to all chambers. We're finished with that tool, we just go back. Yes, we're finished with that tool. We'll choose HON 66. Okay, so now we've got a, a track key and we can enter our cuts just as before. Assist is off. I actually like to turn assist on. We turned it off earlier. There we go. So now I know on one particular side of my tool 
I'm only going to find cuts in certain positions. Where, Lishi, where Lara can, she will also tell you if a chamber only has certain cuts available, she will tell you which ones are available. There's not too many I've been able to do that with, but a few. And we can now drag in from the left, choose Lara codes, no codes. I've obviously searched for something that's a bit of a dud. I'm only making this up as I go, so let's see what happens. Still no codes, let's clear that one. Oh yeah, got to be codes for that. Alright, 30. Now, Lara will only ever return up to 30 results. There may be a lot more than 30 available because it's just no point returning a whole heap of data that's useless. Returning a thousand keys to you to go off and cut test keys for would be silly. Okay. There we go. We're slowly whittling this down until we find something that's um, acceptable. Of course, normally you wouldn't be entering them at random like this. You would normally be doing it with your decoder and you'd be decoding the wafers in the lock. But if there's some reason a wafer happens to be missing, you obviously don't need to worry too much. Sometimes Instacode, if you want to enter your cuts into Instacode, require the bidding to be entered in a different format to what your Lishi tool will decode it. In that case there is often a convert to Instacode button which will show it to you in a format that hopefully Instacode is going to accept if I've done it right. Um, there's only three I think tools that actually require this. Alright so we'll finish with that tool. As I said before you can mark your tools as to whether you have them or not. You simply do that by long tapping on them. You can then select that you have a um, you have the tool and it will turn red or you want the tool and it will turn blue so pretty simple stuff and that's the Lara decoder thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one